Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 48 of Darwell20's Modern Skyblock series. Guys, I did it. Whoosh. We've got... Wow. Alright, so I just need to talk about this quest. Pixel, please. Alright. Because this quest is shenanigans. Uh, it wasn't that bad to do. It was just a lot of crafting. Um, and a lot of, I'm, I'm really glad that I upgraded this guy and this guy and this guy. Because it was a lot of crafting. But I did it. It's done. I made all the armor. I made all the tools. I made all the, all the everything. And it is, it is done. Uh, I even have doo -doo -doo, these guys. Which uh, I should probably charge, right? Uh, what number? Flux infused. Yeah. That's on, right? And so would that. Nice. That's cool. So this thing's actually like... Oh, hello. There we go. Now you're behaving better. Sweet. That's cool. All right. Uh, so, like, I did I did the things, right? I totally did the things. Um, used a lot of diamonds. Uh, how did redstone get in here? I don't even know. Uh, yeah. Used, used used a lot of redstone. Redstone was a huge one. You might notice I have blocks of coal. So what I was doing, uh, we needed a lot of diamonds, and I had some diamonds. So what I did is I, I, I made blocks of coal plus coal equals a hardened coal block, uh, which you can kaboom into a diamond. So what I was finding is if I grabbed like a whole bunch of wood, which as you might notice, I automated this so that it goes into drawers. Um, if I got myself a bunch of wood and smelted it, remember I had like basically a chest full of wood here and now we have almost none. Yeah, I, I turned most of my wood into charcoal and then into coal and then into diamonds. Um, this guy, uh, I started running again. And as you can see, we are producing things and stuff. I should probably get all these things set up so that they are going into some kind of uh, drawer system or something. Um, sometime soon-ish, I'll do that. How's that fair? Yeah, eventually, maybe, potentially. Um, I might do this, just do that off camera or something. Um, that might be cool, right? That should be fine to do off camera. So that's what I'll probably wind up doing. That just makes it some more. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of resources uh, went into creating that. So shenanigans, but uh, I guess fun shenanigans. You know what I could at the very least do is make like two or three drawers um, and, and yay for a cleaned up inventory uh, or relatively cleaned up at least. What I could do at the very least is make like a few drawer systems and uh, let's get four of them. Right. I'm not going to like fully automate all the things right now, but this should at least get me going. Um, it'll be it'll be a, a bit of a manual like here's here's a here's a situation that we're in type of deal. Just um, like to clean this out. Right. I could just do this. Um, whatever I have like a really large amount of, I can just drop into here and that would be probably smartish. Right. Black quartz we seem to have a lot of and uh, appetite we seem to have a lot of. So in 10 minutes when I'm like, where's all my black quartz? I know you should have a lot of it. Remind me that it's in that thing. That would be cool of you. Um, and that at least, you know, lets this thing run for a little bit. This guy also started making some sand so that we would have sand. Um, didn't automate it to the point where it would make glass, but totally did for sand. Um, and then if I want, I can easily turn this into nine stacks of smooth stone that I've been kind of dropping into here. Been debating, probably not yet, but eventually, maybe once we get into applied energistics, uh, I will want to uh, fully automate this guy so that he has smooth stone going into him. And one thing I'm not 100% sure about with the Rock Crusher, if there's any way to speed it up, short of having more of these, right? So this is from um, Resources 2. So Sky Resources 2. I don't know if there's like a, a, like, can I speed that up in some way? Or is it just like make more? I'm not sure. But anyway, so after all that crafting, uh, then I needed to craft the flux infused jet plate. Uh, and that was also unfun. Uh, so if we did that, uh, the flux infused jet pack, uh, let's just do at jet packs because that, that should have it in there. Yeah, there he is. Lots and lots of crafting there as well. Cryothium, coolant units, flux electrums, hardened glass, tin. Uh, one thing I want to note is that Ender. And Deerium armor plating, there's no crafting recipe for. In the current version of the pack, this is broken. So what I did is I took the items required to craft it, um, which I know the recipe from previously playing. Um, so I, I 
basically you can make the crafted recipe one, but the ones beyond that that you would normally put in an induction smelter are broken. So I took 10 in bar, I took 10 in Deerium, and I took 10 bronze and just voided it and then cheated in the Enderium armor plating. Because, like, bug. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so if you run into that in at, at your playthrough, note that it's just a thing. And, um, you know, it, it, I think it's ne it's fixed in the next version of the pack, which is currently flagged as beta. But, uh, yeah, just as an FYI. So anyway, uh, we finished all these quests, which means it's time to collect a bunch of loot. Yeah, that's what's up. So long story short, uh, I, I spent literally, I think, like an hour or two, probably close to two hours, crafting all that stuff. Um, it was definitely a marathon of crafting recipes, uh, and it would have been four or five episodes of crafting straight, so I'm guessing it's a good thing that I did that off camera. Cool. Um, so that said, that means it's time, I think, to get into Ender.io. And then once we knock out Ender.io, we will have unlocked Applied Energistics, and that is something that I'm super excited about because that's obviously the one that I've been working towards like super hard. Um, and maybe it's about time to like open all these loot crates off camera. Uh, so like, let's come back in a minute when I'm ready to do that. All right, so uh, opened up all my loot boxes, got this thing. It's a Zack. Draw speed 183, okay. Levitates enemy for one second, poisons enemy for one second. Cool, I guess. Neat, I don't know what, how, how um, Cool! I, I don't know what it is or what it does, but it looks neat, so that's cool. I'll take it. Uh, quests, let's review. So we've just finished uh, this quest chain, right? Which means that we now have unlocked the Ender IO line, which means that all we have to do is complete Ender Machinery, Vibrant Capacitor Bank, and Wireless Charger, and we can get into Applied Energistics, which means auto crafting and automation and all kinds of really cool stuff. And once we've done that, then we can really get into some crazy shenanigans uh, with all the things. Uh, so Ender Machinery, whew, that's a lot of quests. Holy shlamoly, that's a lot of quests. Uh, so looks like all the Applied Energistics things to do. Uh, grains of Infinity, huh? Neat. By setting Bedrock on fire, you have a chance of obtaining Grains of Infinity. They are the main crafting component of Ender IO. Interesting. Wow, okay, that's totally new. Legitimately never played Ender IO uh, in this version, right? But yes, you're right, it is It is the main crafting ingredient, but look at that. So the basic capacitor, uh, which is used for, you know, your machine chassis typically. Oh, simple machine chassis also requires game. Look neat, simple, high quality and close toolkit for building your own machines. Ha ha, high quality, my friend. Not stainless, keep away from moisture made in town of Jemani, China. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, and then it looks like you need to induction smelt to uh, with an industrial powder coating, which is uh, some some organic green dye. Neat. Crushed quartz. Ooh, this is all new things. These are all new things. Like I'm, I'm suddenly learning that I'm going to be spending a significant amount of time on Ender.io today because we're going to be learning Ender.io today. That's what I think is going to happen. Let's move this crushing table. I forget what it's for. But it sounds important. Um, I guess we'll put you in here. I remember needing it for something. What that something is, I do not remember. Uh, but I remember needing it for something. But I, I feel like we could just extend this line here. By the way, how do you like my new pickaxe and sword and other things that I got, uh, courtesy of all kinds of cool stuff. Cool, right? Uh, and you're in wrench mode? Look at me, I'm flying. Look at me, I'm in a jetpack. Oh, that is cool. I like it. When you land, the jetpack goes off. Ooh, that's that's different mechanics from 110, isn't it? Remember in 110 when you were on the ground if the engine was on? Okay, but yeah, if you if you do step assist, then you're okay taking off, I see. Right, got it. So me turning off the engine, that is different though, right? Am I like making that up? Am I crazy? So we'll get a bunch of power conduits here basically in preparation for some of what we're going to need to do also also you might notice um that i don't have as much health as i had before remember my armor was contributing to my health well i equipped all the fancy flux stuff that i got um i will probably enchant it at some point that sounds like a fun time right um but yeah that's that that's what's up so maybe we'll just continue along our power line here boom right across the shebang so uh i guess lighting that on fire is what we need to do Lighting bedrock on fire. 
So that's interesting. I wonder if there's another way to get that stuff. Less than 50% chance. Okay. Hey, look, we got some. Grains of Infinity. Neat. So it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, what I should do is have some kind of hopper. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, vacuum. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. There's the vacuum chest from Ender.io. Would make sense, right? Um, or a uh, range collector. How about one of those? Does that sound cool? Uh, this needs ender pearls and an iron casing. Where is my black quartz? No, I, I lied. I'm kidding. I know where it is. Um, but I feel like that would be smart to do, right? Like if we made some iron, and I'm sure we'll need like a bunch of iron and gold. I don't know if copper and tin is required in, in new ender IO, so we'll hold off on grabbing any. Um, but at the very least, what I do. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. So that should be cool. Uh, we need a couple of you, and we need a couple or one of you. And then a ranged collector uh, can be used here. Uh, we will whitelist that. And then in theory, <laughs> that was a quest. Sweet. So in theory, that will wind up auto picking up any grains of any that drop before hopefully they're burned in a fire. Because I'm sure the, uh, so there you go, there it is, nice. Okay, neat. That seems like something we're gonna have to like automate at some point. Um, uh, we need to set fire automatically. Igniter, is that a thing? So there's a, there's a cold fire igniter. Oh, that's an ion IO. Cool. Um, igniter from random things. Sounds like a plan, right? Sounds like something that we might want. Um, we might need more flint and steel, which is just iron and flint. Okay. Well, I didn't think that recipe was changed, but you never know. So what do you need, like a redstone pulse or something? So what happens if I leave that redstone signal on? That's a question. Because turning the redstone signal off seems to turn off the fire. Leaving it on does not... See, when I turn it off, it puts the fire out. That's not an experience that I want to have. I want it to a light and then stay lit with a new redstone signal so I can pulse it, right? Um, so that's an option. Let me poke around with this for a few minutes. So I guess what I could do is just put a timer here set for like... So there's the problem, right? Even if I set it for, for, for a pulse, that's not gonna work. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to think about this one. Something that I can do Either a complicated redstone setup such that like it pulses but stays on every 30 seconds um, or some other, uh, there's got to be some way to automate this stuff because it looks like you need a lot of it. Um, so automating it within Ender.io would be nice, but at least for now we have a method of picking it up. Uh, so let's just move on and we'll figure out where we go from there. So you want me to make a simple sag mill and a single alloy smeltery. Uh, so simple. I'm guessing is the name of the game, right? So simple alloy smeltery requires a simple machine chassis, which is do, 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 do. We're gonna probably want a few of these. Um, so let's get like four of them and then we'll go from there. Uh, so you're gonna want a couple of these. And then you're going to want some stone compound gears, right? Um, so that's your alloy smelter. And your sterling generator was not a quest. Sagmill was a quest. Uh, we're totally going to need more of these gears. That's from Tesla gear lib, but yeah, it's, it's all the same. Uh, a piston. Hello, Enderman. Walking into my camera again. You're going to be in trouble. 
You're gonna be in so much trouble. Yeah. Cool. Alloy smell three. Uh, and sag melting. Nice. And I'm assuming you guys run off our app. Oh, look at you, Max. Per tick. <laughs> That's cool. I guess it's it's its own power gen options. Neat. That's cool. I need to do an Ender IO mod spotlight because this is quite different than it's been in the past. Uh, to do Ender IO spotlight. Uh, but it looks like all this stuff is still there, so that's nice. Um, sweet. Look at all these things. Electrical steel is still a thing, it looks like. Good times. Energetic alloys, redstone alloys. Beautiful. And I'm guessing conduits are still a thing? Yeah, they are. Nice. Been a while since I've gotten to play with Ender IO. A little excited about this. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what it's like uh, in this version of the pack. So you want a machine chassis and a soul chassis next. And that's going to probably require some of these ingots, right? Um, so a machine chassis is a simple chassis with industrial powder coating, which requires uh, crushed quartz, AKA quartz powder, organic black dye. All right, so let's start getting the things we're gonna need for this thing organic green dye uh which is an alloy smelt the recipe of clippings and trimmings and some kind of slime interesting this is very interesting and this is not shifting right like this crushed lapis and powder basically it's it's and in a crusher of some form um so i'm guessing a crusher is a thing well I'm guessing that would go into here, right? Not particularly fast, but that's okay. There's gonna be some upgrades coming at some point. Um, and then the, the green stuff um, is, like I said, slime and clippings and trimmings, which we're gonna have to figure out how to get some of that. I've seen that before. Um, so there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Doop, doop, doop. Clippings and trimmings, huh? So sag mill, throw basically flowers through it? Through a sag mill? Is there a better source? Uh, tall grass seems to be a better source. Leaves seem to be not a bad source. Oh, cactus seems to be a really good source. Is there anything better than cactus here? Come on, don't, don't come up on me now. There you are. Uh, cactus thus far seems to be the best. Cactus it is. Okay, clippings and trimmings is a cactus thing. So the sag mill has a lot of work to do, clearly. Um, oh, hello, that's a weird thing. That's interesting. Did you notice that it, like, picked up where it left off? Neat. Okay, cool. Oh, it just continued processing. Okay. Yeah, no, it didn't pick up where it left off. It just continued processing the lapis that it was already processing. Um, cool. Look at this. Uh, soul machine, enhanced machine, unsold machine chassis. That's cool. Oh, interesting. And steel ingots. Fancy. That's cool. Oh, yeah, look, we got lots of clippings and trimmings. Beautiful. And then you guys, I presume... Oh, we need a dozen of them for two organic. Okay, cool. Good to know. So now you should cook, right? Nice. So slow, but I'm sure they'll, they'll like the, the better versions will speed up. Um, that's neat. So sag. So there's a regular sag mill which requires an industrial machine chassis. So I'm assuming, yeah, those will be upgradable. Nifty though. Nifty. Nifty for sure. All right, so before we do any more with this, let's throw some of that in there. Advanced when made, caution, do not eat. Definitely uh, interested in some of the new fancy that's happening here. Um, so can I upgrade my sag mill, like in some way, shape or form? I can, I can take the simple one and just add a couple energized bimetal gears, uh, which is energetic alloy in it. Uh, around this, which is some of that, which needs... Okay, that doesn't look so bad. So we're going to need energetic alloys, um, which is 
I'm pretty sure I saw the recipe there, but I want to say that let's put six and six. I'm pretty sure that's hopefully still energetic alloys, but wow, is that thing slow. Woo. We'll spend an entire episode waiting for this progress bar. We got crossed quartz, so that's that's a thing. Um, so let's see if I'm not too crazy, right? Um, so for you to exist, we're going to need organic black dye. We haven't looked into that yet. What's organic black dye? Um, that is crushed coal and a slime ball. Okay. So like maybe we just <coughs> speed this up a little bit. Yeah, you know. See, uh, see how nice that was, right? Holy cow, that is just taking forever, isn't it? Six crushed coal and a slime ball. Okay, so this should finish. Wow. Okay, well, we'll be back in a minute when this is done. All right, got my energetic alloy. Got my organic black dye. Uh, hooray! Who needs squid? That's a good question. Who does need squid? Not me, sir. Dire, dire does not need squid. And wow, we, okay, so we get six industrial powder coating. To be fair, that ain't bad, right? Um, and then I presume that I put these two in here with these two, and you're going to smelt that up pretty quickly. So now, uh, ideally, what we can do is upgrade our sag mill, right, uh, to an energized version, right? So we're going to need uh, at least another... So we're gonna need two energetic alloys. Can I make these in like <clears throat> an induction smelter? <clears throat> induction smelter by chance? I don't think so. I think we have to make them in the alloy smelter. So that's fine. That's fine. Cool. So I'm gonna make another energetic alloy because in order to get the sag mill, uh, we're going to need two energetic alloys, right? Two sets of nuggets. Um, and this is cooking currently another industrial machine chassis. Which, hey, cool, challenge complete. The culmination, advancement made, and I.O. machines. Sweet. Is that like under advancements? Like, and okay, wow. Nice. Cool. And I.O. machines, sweet. Ooh, look at all this stuff, fancy. All right, uh, so we, we achieved minted, and that's cool. Uh, quest line wise, we're doing pretty good here. You want me to make uh, a soul chassis, which I will, but first I wanna make a regular sag mill and a regular alloy smeltery before we get into um, anything else, because slow, slow, super slow. Back in a minute. So just FYI, you can totally crush your lapis and quartz in the thermal machines, <clears throat> which I just did. Um, but I don't think we can make energetic alloy in the thermal machines. So we have a sag mill um, guy, but we don't have a alloy smeltery guy um, that we can use. So my first machine to upgrade will be the alloy smeltery. All right, so two infinity by metal gears, uh, which can be used to make many things. Uh, but specifically, we're going to make energized by metal gears so that we can turn this guy with a cauldron into an alloy smeltery. So no longer simple. Nice. Uh, so does that mean, oh, hello, uh, capacitor missing. Is there any capacitor so this machine can work? Interesting. Okay, cool. This is neat. This is absolutely different. I really need to do some spotlighting of mods, don't I? I need to get I need to get into uh, into mod spotlight mode. So I I presume basic capacitor is the only one I have access to now. Energetic alloys were typically needed for the second tier capacitor, which I can make obviously and will be in about a second. Nice, cool. So that's the old, yeah, that's definitely better. That's way better, right? Um, and then what I'm gonna do is take two of those energetic alloys and a crushed piece of coal, of which we should have plenty. Thank you, bing. That should suffice, or dictionary-ish, right? Cool. Um, oh boy, inventory problems, like nobody's business. I can probably put my cactus away for the time being, and I'm gonna put my clippings and trimmings away for the now. Um, 
Yeah, and we can probably just void this, right? So another energetic alloy. So let's see how fast this becomes when I upgrade him. Because presumably I just throw another capacitor in there, like the better capacitor. Um, so to make that, we're going to need to take this one out. We're going to want to make another one of these, which needs another... Uh, so capacitor tier two, easy peasy. And then we stick this in here, and now he's gonna run even faster. Nice, okay, now we're talking. If I wanna get this one, we just need some vibrant alloys, which is just, you know, uh, easily enough. Uh, we just need some ender pearls, right? So let's get like eight vibrants, right? Um, and, and go from there. So what I'm gonna want is another pulverized coal. And I should also, also make a better sag mill, right? So for this, we're gonna need two more of these. And I thought I just turned two, okay, right. I just didn't do it yet. Uh, sag mill, two of these guys. And then I can break you. And yes, there's the Yetta wrench. I just don't have one yet. But it does, it does exist, I checked. Cool. Quest complete. Nice. All right, so you're cooking pretty quick, right? Um, let's get, like, for now, four of you going. But as soon as this last energetic is done, then we'll be cool, right? And those two energetics can lead to um, making the next capacitor. So let's get one. Oh, we're missing grains of infinity. See? I told you I was going to want to. Told you I was going to want to automate that. We'll see if there's a machine that lets me automate it at some point. I'm hoping there is. Hoping, hoping. But at least the range collector makes it easy to, like, light things on fire and then just get them. So that should be two capacitors. I need four in total to get the, the, good, the good capacitor. And four can I need another flint and steel pretty quickly. That is funny. I kind of like that mechanic. I just need to find a good way to automate it. And clearly there's options, right? Like, I could do something with a mechanical user, right? Uh, there's there's lots of options for how to automate that. Uh, we just have to come up with them. So that's three, and now we're just missing some gold nuggets. That's four, right? And then the Mark II capacitor, one. We're gonna want another ground up coal. You should be done with your vibrance, and we're gonna want another one of you then. Thought I had enough energetics, but hey, quest complete. I had a feeling that was gonna be a quest. You can put away our slime for the time being. That sounds fair. Uh, we can probably void a couple of things that we don't have to have in our inventory for the moment. Yeah, that's that's definitely faster now, which is cool. Oh, you know what I was doing? I know what I'm doing. I was gonna I was gonna use the double that I had in there. But let's just we'll just hang on to the double and then we'll make a new one of you. So this guy now should be even faster. Nice. That's copper. Way faster, much better. All right, cool. So those are all quests, right? That were all completed, but we're gonna hold off on, 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 on marking them complete for the time being. Uh, I presume that um, you want me to get a vibrant capacitor bank. So like, let's, 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 I guess I could do that now. Um, So a basic capacitor bank, does a vibrant, You do, uh, can I upgrade these guys? Yeah, I can upgrade if I make two of them. So I have to make one for each quest. So I feel like making two is probably gonna be a way that we're gonna go. So in order to make this, we're going to need more basic capacitors, which is gonna need far more of these things. So flint and steel, where'd you go? What's interesting now, though, by the way, is um, like 
Anybody who wants to have an eye on their pack, if it's a sky block, you're gonna have to make sure there's at least a piece of bedrock somewhere, right? Um, and if you only give your players one piece of bedrock, that might make things a little bit difficult. So, interesting. Interesting for sure. So there's your four of these guys, right? And that should be your basic capacitor easily. I just need a little bit more iron. I need to start making more iron uh, on my to-do list then. Hooray! And if I wanted to do something cool, like, you know, stick that there, then you've got a million, a million stuff. A million whatever that energy unit is. Haha, <laughs> cool. Also, I got Ender IOs. Mmm, Ender IOs. Delicious. I guess that was a reward for something that I did, objective-wise. Neat. Okay, uh, so... So if I wanted, I could just make the other capacitor banks straight up without upgrading the existing ones, because why not? It needs some electrical steel. So if I made another one of these, I would yeah, I mean, I have to make electrical steel anyway. That's what, uh, electrical steel, it's like coal and something. Silicon, is it silicon? Does silicon exist? Am I looking at the wrong electrical steel? Iron, coal, and yes, silicon from Ender.io, which comes from I'm not seeing a recipe for silicon. It used to be sag milling sand. I wonder if it's bugged. Uh, so you can have the double layer capacitor. Hey, nope, it works. Sweet. Oh, you know why? Because it, it just, okay, cool. So they just replaced silicon with the raw silicon from Galacticraft. Fair enough. Uh, so let's get like six of you, six of you, and pulverize some coal real quick. and get electrical steel cooking. Uh, and in the meantime, let's get some iron alchemical ore dust turning into iron ore real fast. Do we have any over here? We have four, perfect. That's about what I would say I would want, neat. So we'll let that start cooking because I'll need it in a minute. This is cool, guys. I uh, have not yet experienced this under IO, as mentioned, so that's pretty nifty. I'm probably going to need more glowstone soon, too. So that is blaze powder and redstone. And we're a little bit low on redstone, believe it or not. Um, so here's here's my redstone production process. You ready? One, two, three, four stacks of gunpowder, which we might need to start spawning creepers at some point soon, because wow, am I low on gunpowder. I used a lot last episode, to be fair, uh, or between this episode and last episode because of, um, oops, wrong one. There you go, right? That's my, that's my, that's my thing. Uh, and then you can put, and then glowstone. Is it two blaze, uh, two blaze to four redstone? So uh, if I got half a stack of blaze to a stack of redstone, we should be cool. That'll do for now. Cool. All right, uh, so with all that said, we got our electrical steel. Ding, ding. Thank you. Uh, and we can make our tier two capacitor. So you need four double layer capacitors is what you need. Uh, that shouldn't be too, it's gonna be a lot of grains of infinity. Holy cow. Maybe I should, I'm trying to figure out if there's like actually a benefit here, but this is eight capacitors and this is ultimately talking eight capacitors plus a double layer capacitor. So technically this is more capacitors, but I have to use this in the recipe anyway. Or I have to make these anyway, right? So 
How about a little off camera work and we'll be right back. So what about this? And if you're pulsing, are you not pulsing and turning that off? Then what you might need, something like that. How's that look? Pretty good. We're gonna need you to last longer though. So let's bump you up to 200 ticks. Let's see how that is. And I mean, I could make more igniters, obviously. 200 ticks doesn't seem to be long enough. And what is that, 10 seconds? So let's try 300 ticks. See how that does. So more igniters would be a thing. The problem is, is I have to do this here because it requires bedrock, and I believe this is the only place bedrock exists on this map. So like literally this has to be crafted here. That's pretty darn close. I'm wondering if that's consistent. I wonder if it's always 300 ticks. It does seem to be. It do That seems to be a perfect timing. If, 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 if you look at that, that seems to be perfect, right? Um, so that should be relatively easy to automate, uh, especially if it's a consistent timing, because it looks like it's about 15. Well, that one that one took turned off with the redstone torch. So we might want to bump it up a little bit longer. See, that one turned off pretty early, so it's not consistent. Mwah. That's a shame. Not consistent. Not a consistent, um, also, yeah, I mean, we could fix, we could deal with the rain problem by putting, like, cobblestone blocks above it or something, but, um, if it's raining, that would be bad. See, so it's working, it's working, we're definitely getting grains, uh, which is cool, right, but not loving, we'll definitely want more of this going on, for sure. Um, but that should at least be enough to get us. So what I decided to do is another capacitor, right? So another... One of these. Do I have more coal? Uh, not so much. But it's easy to get. Yeah, I think this will work. I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna want to expand it um, and have more of those. But at least for now, that's cool. And this will be a double. Yay! Quest complete. Nice. So the next quest is to make a vibrant, obviously. Um, I'll probably do that majority off camera. So what's a soul chassis? I'm curious. And and we I feel like are we getting close to a wrapping up point here? Totally. So let's look at soul chassis tomorrow. Does that sound fair? Uh, so it's wrapping up point for now. I might expand this off camera a little bit and just make it um, like just as good as it can be. Does that make sense? Um, but for now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and all that good stuff. Alright guys, it's just no it's not lit, but I could make it lit. All right, take it easy.